Hi friends, welcome to another tutorial from Max 3D Design. And today we're gonna make this kind of, you can say, a little bit complex model. This part is used on the alloy wheels and basically it's covering this hole that's in the middle of the wheel. So I've lost mine and I decided to make a new one. So let's get started. Well, you can take the measurements on the way, like I'm going to do right now, or you can take the measurements, write them down, and follow the sketch from the simple notebook. So let's start. I'm gonna start with the simple sketch on the X, Z axis. So the red is X, the blue is Z, so we're choosing this plane. I'm gonna choose line, construction, and since I know that the circle is 64 millimeters in diameter, so I'm gonna make half of it, which is 32. Enter. From here, I'm gonna make another construction line that goes up let's say seven millimeters. Okay, now I'm gonna untick construction and I'm gonna make three millimeters right here. Then I know that I have four millimeters right here. And I know that I have one and a half millimeters right here. Then I'm gonna choose fit point spline and I'm gonna draw a line from this to this point. I click on the check mark, hit escape to exit spline command and I'm gonna make it 90 degrees straight, this angle. Something like that. So now all what we have to do is do the offset from this line. So I press letter O for offset. I choose this line. And I drag it until it meets my point over here. I hit OK. Then I'm gonna choose another line. Connect this sketch. I'm gonna extend this line just by dragging this circle. Then I'm gonna use T to trim and I will trim all the bits that I don't need. It would be perfect if we make these lines completely black like over here, but I don't do that because this is not industrial grade drawing. Then I press finish sketch. Now all what we have to do is choose revolve function. Profile will be our sketch that we made and the axis will be our Z axis. Now we have circle on which we're gonna continue our sketch. I hit OK. So now let's add some words. You can choose anything what you like. So I've downloaded this PNG file. Then I converted this PNG file to SVG that you can do with online converter, which is onlineconvert.com. So here you can choose final destination, which is SVG. We need to drop the files start conversion and automatically it will download the SVG file. If not, then you just click on download. And that's our SVG file from PNG. You can do that with any file. You can convert GPG, pretty much everything. So now let's put a picture or drawing with another word SVG 
on top of this surface. So I'm gonna construct offset plane from our X, Y plane, which is this one. And I'm going to make it three millimeters away from the point. Okay. Then I'm gonna choose this plane and I'm gonna insert SVG that we've created. Insert from my computer, choose the logo and I click open. So now I'm gonna align my SVG file. Let's say like this. I click OK and I click finish sketch. Now I'll choose extrude and I will choose every piece of the SVG that has to be extruded. Operation will be joined and we will extrude it until it hits the actual, let's call it disk, and then I hit OK. So now, as you can see, we have the letters. Let's remove these letters. To remove these letters, I'm going to create a sketch. I'm going to remove the body. I will show our first sketch. I will press letter P to project this line and this line. I hit OK. Then I will press L to enter line command, extend a little bit our line. Let's say like this, finish sketch. Then I choose revolve. I choose our new sketch. I choose our Z axis. I will turn the bodies back on. I will choose 360 degrees. And operation cut. And I hit OK. So now when we've cut from the inside, let's make it at the angle of the disc. So I'm going to create one more sketch on the ZX plane. I'm gonna turn the sketch back on, hide the body. I'm gonna use letter P to project this line. Okay. Then I'm gonna use letter O to offset this line. I'm gonna turn the bodies back on. And let's make it, let's make it 2.5. No, let's make it 2.2 millimeters. Okay. Then I'm gonna hit letter L to make a line. I'm gonna draw a line in the middle. I'm gonna hit escape. I'm gonna hit L to enter line again. And then I'm gonna close this sketch. We can do mirror. We can choose this, this and this line with the mirror of this line. Then I hit OK. Finish sketch. Now we're going to extrude this and this sketches. Direction symmetric. And we're going to cut it like this. Okay. Now, as you can see, we have nicely cut in our letters. So let's make the holders for the wheel. I'm going to create sketch on this face. I will hit letter C for circle. And I will make it exactly the same circle, like our inner part. Then I know that from here until here we have one and a half millimeters. So I press L for line. I choose construction. And I'll make line 1.5 millimeters. Enter. 
then I hit letter C for circle and I make another circle until this line but I need to unclick construction like this then I know that my holder is 12 millimeters wide so I choose line construction and from here approximately I will make six millimeters long line click OK then I unclick construction I'm still in the line mode I will make this line so then we will need to mirror this line on the other side we press mirror this line and the mirror line will be this line okay now we need to press letter T to trim unwanted sketches like this finish sketch then we will need to extrude this part seven millimeters okay then here I'm going to create sketch so I'm gonna hit letter P to project this face okay then I'm gonna hit letter O to offset this line let's say one millimeter okay then I'm gonna hit letter L to make line from here to here and from here to here then I will use letter T to trim and I will trim the sketches that I don't need finish sketch then I will extrude this and this sketch for three millimeters negative three millimeters and operation join I hit OK then we will need to make chamfer on this line like this add one more chamfer on this line like this then I'll add one more chamfer on this line like this and I hit OK then on the other side I'm gonna make fillet something like this I hit OK so now what we have to do is mirror this well let's call it clips in the circular pattern so I'm gonna choose pattern circular pattern type will be our futures let's select the futures which is all these futures axis will be our Z axis and we will need four pieces okay and basically our model is ready so now as you can see we have a lot of bodies we can combine this body with this 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 and this operation join and we can make new component okay we can remove this body and now we have our component so that's how you make this kind of complex but from another side it's a little bit I would say easy it just looks complicated so for those who haven't subscribed please subscribe and have a great modeling